Hello friends. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another category or another way of uh, classifying signals. Okay. So we'll be discussing about causal, anti-causal, and non-causal signals. Okay, this is another way of categorizing or classifying signals. Okay. okay. So now let us uh, draw some, uh, you know, waveforms, signal waveforms. Okay. So so we have this signal which is like this okay then we have another signal Okay, we have another signal like this. Then we have another signal then we have another signal Okay, so like this we have signals and let's draw a few more signals, okay. like this okay so we have different kinds of signals here so here if you see in uh, this case okay let's call it uh, sub bit 1 in this case the signal only exists in the positive time okay positive time towards the right side of the origin the horizontal axis here if you see in the second sub bit the signal it exists only in the negative time duration towards the left hand side or zero origin here in this case also similar to the first case the signal exists in the positive time here in this case it exists in the negative time okay for t negative here it exists for both positive as well as negative here also both negative and positive it exists on both sides now positive and negative time so these signals okay which exist only on the positive side and does not exist it is zero in the negative side these are called as causal signals okay so this is a causal signal similarly this one is also causal okay which exist only in the positive time these signals in sub bit 2 and 4 which exist only in the negative time duration okay the negative time side and do not exist it is zero in the positive side they are anti causal okay they are anti causal 
that is the opposite of causal, reverse of causal, this one and this one, anti-causal. And these two signals, which you know exist on both sides, okay, which is it is not causal or anti-causal. They are not causal or anti-causal, they do not fit into those categories, they are non-causal. Okay, they are non-causal. These two. This is non-causal. This is also non-causal because they exist on both sides, negative and positive sides and do not fit into the causal category or anti-causal category. Since they are neither causal nor anti-causal, they are non-causal. So, if you want to express it, a causal signal is one which is zero for t lesser than zero. That it is zero, it is non existence and non existent in the negative time. Similarly, anti causal it is a signal which is zero for t greater than zero, that is the positive time. It is non existent in the positive time. Okay, this is for negative time, it is zero. Here it is for positive time and a signal which is neither causal nor anti-causal, it is non-causal, which does not obey these above, you know, the above two things. They exist in both positive as well as negative time sides. Similarly, this is for continuous time domain signals, similarly if we take the example of discrete time, a discrete time sequence is said to be a causal sequence, okay. It is said to be a causal sequence if it exists only in the positive time side, 1, so let us say 2, 3, like this, it exists only in the positive side. Okay, <clears throat> like this. Similarly, this is a causal sequence. Similarly, a signal which exists only in the negative discrete time side that is a anti causal sequence. like this, this signal, okay. This one is a anti-causal sequence because it exists only in the negative side and it is 0 in the positive discrete time side, okay. Now, a signal uh, or a sequence, sorry, discrete time signal or a sequence which does not obey any of the above things and exists on both the positive and negative discrete time side, that is a non-causal sequence, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. like this. This is a non-causal sequence. Okay. So, a causal sequence is one similar to this. If x n is equal to 0 for n lesser than 0. Okay x n is equal to 0 for n lesser than 0, okay. Then it is anti-causal if x n 
is equal to 0 for n greater than 0 that is for the positive side this is for negative side this is for positive discrete time side and if it does not obey any of these things it exists on both sides it is a non causal sequence okay so if you see the another important example let's say this one the unit step signal which we see um, we have okay this it has a value 1 this is a causal signal and if we take the time reverse signal okay unit step signal u minus t then this will be a anti causal signal and if we add them together it will become non causal okay if we add them ut plus u minus t if we add them together it will become a non causal signal because it will exist on both sides of the uh, both the negative and positive time side okay so that will become non causal okay so this uh, we have discussed about causal anti causal and non causal signals in both the continuous time domain and discrete time domain okay